Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about postpartum recovery tips. In my last video that I posted, I talked about postpartum care for down there. After you give birth, it's kind of hard. So I want to give you guys my tips on how you can go about recovering from giving birth. So this video may be a little long because I have a lot of tips. We're going to go ahead and get straight to the videos. My first tip for postpartum recovery is pretty much everything takes time to heal down there. We want to focus on making sure that we are healing correctly. What I mean is using our cooling pads. I talked a little bit about it in my last video that I posted about postpartum care. Making sure you change your pad on a daily. You want to make sure you're taking showers. If you feel like you, you don't want to take a shower yet, making sure you wipe good and making sure that you are doing good hygiene for yourself because you don't want to like not clean yourself if something gets infected or something like that. Doing what is necessary to heal down there in a good amount of time. Second tip is breastfeed. After postpartum, breastfeeding can be hard because you feel like your baby isn't latching properly. You feel like your milk isn't coming in. You're not getting enough milk. Personally, I feel like breastfeeding does take time to get it right. And back when I had Camden, it did take me a while to get in a groove with breastfeeding Camden. Camden really didn't latch correctly. It frustrated me because I felt like my milk wasn't coming in, he wasn't getting hungry, he was losing a lot of weight. I actually went to a lactation consultant and she actually told me how I was supposed to breastfeed. And you want your baby to be getting your hind milk, not your fore milk. So you want them to be getting the good milk so that they're able to be full and sleep for a good amount of time and that's pretty much why like this time around with Cora I know what I'm doing. Since we're talking about breastfeeding another tip is to use your nipple cream. Now the nipple cream helps you alleviate the crack, the chafing, everything that happens with your nipple like the pain. I love the Mother's Love brand for nipple creams because that instantly heals cracked nipples, nipple pain. I was using it back when I gave birth to Chimera and also Camden. That's my tip for breastfeeding especially postpartum. It can get frustrating but please don't give up. Tip number three is don't be afraid to ask for help. I know me, sometimes I'm really like, I don't really need help when it comes to things, but after I had Cora, I felt like I really need help because I also have Camden. So asking my husband for help, asking my mom for help is no shame in my game because I really do need help. Some of the things I feel like I can do, I know that I need to relax, rest. I'm also like a clean freak, like I need to clean, I need to pick things up, I need to wash the dishes. But my husband is always telling me like, sit down, I will do it, I will do it. So don't be afraid to ask for help. If you need diapers, go ahead and ask your husband for diapers, your kids for diapers. If you need wipes, ask them for wipes. You need to be resting. So don't be afraid to ask for help. Tip number four, pretty much what, just like my tip number three, is pretty much to sit down, lay down, uh, rest. Don't think you need to be cleaning up. That can wait. Don't feel like you need to cook. That can wait. It's like my third tip, ask for someone to come help, help cook. Um, like my mom, she came a couple of times to help cook because my husband, he was also tired because he was cooking nonstop, cleaning nonstop because you need to be resting your body. Your body needs some time to heal. So tip number five is so important, guys. The only thing that you should be carrying is your baby. That's it. If you have toddlers like me, I have Camden, he weighs like 28 pounds, I should not be carrying him. Sometimes though I have to like tell Camden like, no Camden, I'm not, I can't carry you. So I have to sit on the couch and let him come to me. But that's so important guys, is to not carry anything heavy. The reason why your doctors tell you guys not to lift anything heavy is because of the risk of uterine prolapse. If you guys don't know what that is, that's pretty much your organs coming down and falling out of your vagina. And you guys are probably like, what? That can happen? Yes, that can happen. Carrying something heavy continuously, especially after you had baby, brings all your organs down, especially your uterus. It brings it down. And that's why I say you have to lay down. Now, I've been doing my research and I've been seeing like a lot of women end up having prolapse and their uterus is coming out of their vagina, which is causing like pain. So if you ever feel like you're pushing still or something is like in between your legs, that is a sign you need to rest because you should not be feeling pushing or like a ball in between your legs. That can be a sign of uterine prolapse. So that's why I say do not lift anything heavier than your newborn. Nothing heavy. The only thing you should be carrying is your newborn and you should be laying that butt down. My next tip is not to worry about what your tummy is looking like after birth. I've been getting a lot of messages with mothers who just recently gave birth and they're really like self-conscious about how they look and you just had a baby. And personally for me, I've been getting a lot of comments like saying, ew, what's wrong with your stomach? What's wrong with your stomach? I know that's temporary, so that doesn't bother me when people comment and say, hey, your tummy looks weird. Hey, your tummy, why does it look like that? Why is it shaped like that? Uh, what's wrong with her? I get a lot of those comments. And the thing is like, 
that happened now i'm going through the process of going back to how i once was if i can't get back to how i once was who cares like you have to be able to accept your body and that's what i want to tell some of you who have been messaging me and saying like hey my body is not how i want it to be everything takes time and i know people want to rush people see on instagram or whatever people just like celebrities just had their baby and they have like their body looks good they're actually like doing surgeries and things like that so you can't really compare yourself or your body to like social media because a lot of social media is like people are doing something, filtering, altering their pictures. They're not showing their true self. I wouldn't stress over your body because everything is, everything takes time. Healing is a process and it takes time. It may take a year, it may take two years, it may take three years. It just all depends on your body. Everybody has different body types and everybody heals differently. Everybody goes back to their bodies is different so don't even think that hey my body isn't like this my body isn't like her she just gave birth the same time as me why does she have a flatter stomach than i do do not compare yourself everybody like i said has different bodies heal differently so don't even be worried and stressed over that because everything does take time now my next tip for postpartum recovery is also your nutrition now, you need to be eating correctly now some babies are can't tolerate certain foods like broccoli they're gassy or sometimes ice cream dairy causes like them to be really gassy nutrition is key i'm not talking about buying frozen dinner microwaving that i'm talking about actually cooking vegetables actually going to cook the chicken on the the skillet you need to be cooking and eating correctly also take your postnatal vitamins make sure you're taking your vitamins uh, that's also important especially if you're breastfeeding you want to make sure that you're putting in nutrients into your body because you're giving out nutrients to your baby so you want to make sure you whatever you're taking out you're putting back into your body exactly. drinking plenty of water is my next tip make sure you're hydrated it's so important my husband's always telling me saying hug you got dry lips and i'm like that's because I'm thirsty. He's like, you're always thirsty. I'm but you want to make sure you are staying hydrated, especially if you're breastfeeding. Breastfeeding makes you extra thirsty. And uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm actually still breastfeeding Camden. I wasn't able to wean him in time, so he's still breastfeeding. And I get extra thirsty, so I'm breastfeeding him. I'm breastfeeding Coral. So make sure you are drinking plenty, plenty, plenty of water. And my last tip for postpartum recovery is pretty much take time for yourself. If you need to go out, Take a walk with your newborn. Go ahead, get the fresh air. Staying at home does get to you. Um, everything does start to like close in on you and you start to stress out because baby is crying. Like for me, baby is crying. Camden wants my attention. Kimira is driving me nuts. Like something like that, I need fresh air. Don't feel like you're inclined to just stay inside the house because you know, you feel like you can't do anything. Go ahead and get that fresh air. All of us mothers need it. See what I'm talking about? This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> but yeah, so like I said, that's my last tip for you guys. And just get the fresh air that you need because our minds mentally is so important. Especially after we had our baby, we're very fragile. It's not about just physically, but mentally getting in that headspace of feeling good about yourself. It's really hard, especially after you had your baby. So making sure you take time for yourself is so important. It's mentally and physically for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video helps you guys a lot, especially if you're going through any of these and you don't know what to do and you feel like, oh my gosh, this is just happening to me. A lot of us moms out here, we're trying to do things for ourselves, but we don't ask for help. And that's why postpartum recovery is so important. We need to take care of ourselves as well as our babies. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Coral's waking up and I will see you guys in my next video. All right. Bye guys. Yeah.